My name is Beth Ludlam. I'm a vice president here at Wesley Theological Seminary and also a program director of the Wesley Innovation Hub. And I'm Emily Peck McLean. I'm visiting professor of Christian Formation and Young Adult Ministry at Wesley Theological Seminary. And I get to team up with Beth with the Wesley Innovation Hub. So the Wesley Innovation Hub came about about three years ago when the Lilly Endowment invited us to participate in a conversation with other seminaries across the country to think about not only how do congregations become more nimble and responsive to challenges around them, but also how to focus on a specific age group that otherwise has largely been missed in church ministries. They realized that the Lilly Endowment had put a lot of money into youth ministry and college ministries, and that many churches are very successful at focusing on young families and middle age and older people. But they realized that there was a gap of people, usually between the age of about 23 and 29, who are largely being missed by churches. So they came to us with the question, how might we help congregations really begin to develop innovative relationships and ministries with young people ages 23 to 29 in their communities? With that question in mind, we began to work with congregations in the Washington, D.C. metro area. We started with a pilot group, our master cohort, of, of congregations that we knew had been doing innovative ministries already with various age levels. We journeyed with them through a two-year process where they learned about the young adults in their community and developed new programs and experimented with things. And then we selected a second group of 15 congregations to work with us through the same process again. We have a curriculum, as you say, where we are helping churches to learn about design thinking and apply those um, processes to their work in their local church and in their community. So basically what we do with these congregations is help them learn how to deeply listen and develop empathy with the young adults who are around their church and those who are within their church. But we really think that there are young adults who are outside of the church who need to have an opportunity to participate in the ministries of a church. Then they come together and develop these, what we call avatars, which are kind of personas of who these young adults are that the church is, has around them. And then the church can start to think about who they are and their call to ministry and think about kind of which of those avatars feels like a good fit for them to be in ministry with. So at the end of the first year, after the process that Emily described, we have each congregation fill out a grant application. And basically what this is, is the ideas that they want to test after they've done this research, after they've done the brainstorming and prototyping. They set out a plan for the second year, that, and then we have given each congregation funding to pursue that. And in the second year, what we really focus on, though, is that this is not a one-and-done activity. This is not about a new program that they've created. Instead, it's about a series of experiments that helps them to continue to test their ideas and to go deeper and deeper. And I think what we're doing here, as I, have, as I continue to learn, is simply working and walking with these churches as they are recapturing some of that innovative spirit that is really part of our DNA as Christians. Um, and hopefully, our, my prayer for this is really that we see that then applied in many different ways, not just to young adults, um, but it's really a revitalization of churches and of our Christian faith as we seek to follow this creator God. Yeah, that's so well said.